Yo, what's going on? And welcome back to some more Black Myth Wukong. In the last one, we started making our way through chapter five here. I guess we should probably check some names and stuff of where we've been. We've made it to a few different places in these flaming mountains. Oh, okay, we just made it to Ashen Pass 2. Oh, this guy's still back at the Camp of Seasons, huh? I assume he won't interact with us, because he told us about the five element cards. I assume he won't do anything else until we've beaten all of them. Kind of like that guy at the beginning of chapter three who told us about the four captains. So we're now at Ashen Pass 2. Also, uh, let's check out our journal and inventory. Got some more things that give money. We have a lot of money things. I don't even know, like, what am I supposed to be spending all this money on? <laughs> like, I, I don't even really have a place to spend this much money. Maybe I'm missing something? But it doesn't seem like any of the stores have enough that I would actually want to go there and spend a whole bunch of money on stuff. So here's the bosses we fought. And then as far as meditation spots, I saw this in between episodes here. There's only four in this area, which you can see is slightly more than Blackwind Mountain Chapter 1. But it's less than everything else. So this chapter might be shorter than the last few chapters we've done. But anyways... Let's move forward. What secrets did Master Pig whisper to you just now? I mean, is there any secrets? Him, but he still holds so much hostility. My brother's minions are everywhere. Stay close to me, kind monkey. Brother and I used to play around there. The Valiant Six had their ways of amusing us. What fun we had together. I still don't know if I should trust the fox, but I don't see any reason not to go along with her. I mean, it's not like I have a choice if I'm going to play the game, right? I gotta... I gotta go, but like, if I was the monkey, I don't feel like the monkey has any reason to not follow her. Okay. I can't wait for us to get separated and then me to have to fight a boss or something. The f they're gonna mislead us though. The first time it'll be like, oh, there she is. No problem. <laughs> My paws beat your feet. Yeah, well, it wasn't really a fair competition. I don't know why she's teasing the monkey so much. If she really needed help that desperately, I feel like she would be acting different, which is the most suspicious part. Right where, exactly? Why is this area so big? Where'd the fox go? I stopped paying attention for one second. Where did she go? I kind of want to see if I can go up here. I don't know if it'll let me. some will up here. Uh, this appears to be as far as we go. So, I feel like... I don't know if the game will let me, but I think I can make it through the fire. It would probably hurt, but... Okay, the fox went that way. Can I go? Did she leave? Oh, she transformed. Okay, I can't go over the lava. I guess I'll try going through the fire then? It doesn't seem like the greatest strategy ever, but it looks like there might be a secret over there. So, let's give it a try, shall we? 
That's a no. That's a no. There was an invisible wall. You know, can we do one or the other? Like, either the fire hurts me or there's an invisible wall. Can we not do, oh yeah, there's an invisible wall and you get lit on fire. Okay. What'd she say her name was? Ping Ping or something? What are you doing? I guess I gotta jump. For you, kind monkey, there's still a choice. But for me, I don't have one. Okay. Probably could have waited. Maybe she would have said some other stuff, but. Got it. Quite nearby. There is a deity we can turn to. One said to be Mother's old friend. If we could persuade him to come along, maybe he could talk Mother into giving us the fan. I'll go find him. Be careful out here. What was this place called? Furnace something? Oh! <laughs> you know, I thought we were just like looking for a shrine. I didn't think there were enemies around here. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. This enemy is annoying. Wow, that didn't actually level me up either. Hello. It's going all right, how about you? Oh! You got me again. sparks let's finish leveling up our crit damage and then uh, i guess we're doing four banes resist probably that or stamina recovery what's that oh another guy okay Weren't you working on your fourth run last time? <laughs> so I guess four runs was not enough to upgrade everything. Okay, we finally see a shrine marker. Uh, there's a guy guarding the shrine. Oh, good. He's a running. Oh, come on, really? You're telling me that that blocked? His shield doesn't seem very breakable. Like, it's very hard to break that. You missed one spirit? Go to chapter two. Well, you're pretty close then. Uh, there's no good reason not to rest here, I think. Might as well get my health back.
that a rock dude? Whoa. This is like a mini rock dude. I didn't know if he would explode afterwards, so I rolled away. What? Oh, hello. Why do they make such scary noises? Like, you're just rocks. Just be silent, like a rock. Maybe we can go down there? Eh, maybe not. This reminds me a lot of uh, Ceaseless Discharge's room, where you look down and you can see the... Or no, it's not from... Can you see the centipede demon from Ceaseless Discharge's room? I don't remember. But that's what it reminds me of. You can kind of like look down into that lava area that you have to get to from Dark Souls 1. Fifth run. Oh, jeez. I assume that new game pluses keep getting harder. Like Elden Ring and stuff. Does anything else change? Like in uh, in Souls games, the only thing that gets harder is they have more health and maybe do more damage. Oh, I didn't think I would actually be able to jump. This is bad. This is actually really bad. How, how, what do you say we go somewhere that's not in lava? I'm gonna die. I am so dead. Is this lava? This is still lava, okay. I made a lot of mistakes. This was not a good strategy. Is this hot? Okay, it seems like I could at least walk here without dying. I can't see anything. Oh, come on. What the heck are you? Oh! Please. Okay. We are alive. I should probably put on that fire resist thing, huh? Are you kidding me? There we go. Okay. The uh, fifth run. Oh, fifth run is max. I think in Souls games it's seven, right? Or new game plus seven is the highest, so maybe that's technically eight runs. They do more damage, and you do less. Yeah, fire mantle seems like a good idea. Okay, where the heck did I come from is my first concern. Okay, let's put on the fire mantle then. The fire mantle, just as base, it gives you immunity to the lava-covered terrain. So that's good. And then I become burn immune if I ever use the thing. I did not think the game was going to let me drop down here. So that really messed up a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, it just does no damage to me. That's great news. A fire date. So where the heck did I come? Did I come from up there, technically? Wish I could see. This place sucks if you have eyes. Are you kidding me? Are any of these guys not enemies? He poisoned me that quickly? Um. Oh.
This is definitely not where I came from, because I don't remember this guy. This is another one of the carts, huh? Like, did I come from here, maybe? Yeah, I think I came from this way. Hello. Can you stop trying to kick me? Am I being shot at by something? What's happening here? No, that's just my feet leaving behind marks on the lava. Okay, okay. So I think I want to go back this way because this way was just like a dead end with a chest in it, if I understand correctly. Oh my gosh, you take no damage. Okay, hold up. No! No, well, that sucks. Are you... You actually canceled my focus there? Ow. Well, I get full healing off of this spirit, though, right? So I guess that's... I guess that's a good thing. Turtle treasure. And some more steel. Very interesting. Alright, let's check out the spirit. As you can see, I've leveled up all the spirits. <laughs> you were just talking about how you're missing one spirit. I've only leveled up a single spirit. Moderately increases damage dealt by heavy attacks that cost three or four. That seems pretty decent. See, like, that's an effect that I can't get from anywhere else. That moves actually seems pretty cool, too. kind of slow to start but it might be pretty good like i could get stamina recovery from other places i can't get my three and four charge heavies do more damage from other places or at least not very many if i can okay so we need to go over there and check out that cart but and then there's maybe something over there but let's start with going back to where we came from Is there a secret over there, too? Oh, there's a little will right here. keeps going I don't know if I should have gone this way because I don't know how long this path is gonna be okay so now we're at the part where there's a bunch of optional ways huh seems like this is going to come together into a giant golem Yes, fire chief, or flint chief, not fire. Uh, he's just lighting me on fire by being near him. And unfortunately, I can't activate the mantle to stop that, so I guess I'm just gonna be on fire. Oh, 
Oh, that's good. Ow, could you not light me on fire? Uh, he doesn't seem to know what to do. Just hit him with that. Okay. Samadhi Fire Crystal. What the heck do we do with that? So let's check out what this Flint Chief is. Slightly increases four Bane's resistance. Does it tell me by how much? Five. <laughs> and so it's just like the solid rock spell, except a spirit. Does this do damage to me if I stand in this? No. Ah, oh, what the heck? There's a guy up there? Okay, is this the end of the road? Sure seems like it. So. Then we'll go back, we'll go back up to where I originally had come from. And then... Could go that way, but I remember I, for, I didn't actually pick up the will here. I was saving it for healing when I came out. I don't know if that's the right way or the cart place is the right way. Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of damage. I assume the Spellbinder is making me do more damage to his shield now. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. He actually blocked that. That's lame. Oh, come on. He wasn't even facing me. That hit should have killed him. There we go. So where did I... I jumped down over there at that spot. We gotta get back over there at least. You an enemy? I thought that was a different one that like crash landed. So yeah, I just kind of walked here and then it let me jump off the cliff and I was not ready for that. So that's how this whole exciting adventure started. Yeah, I don't know which way to go first. Looking at them, it, I mean, the cart seems important, right? Because I think we're supposed to kill all five of the carts. But that seems like the main path right there. So I'm going to go this way first. We'll see. Wasn't there something talking to me too? Like, wasn't this cart talking to me or something? Maybe you were talking to me? Oh. How do I do this? Oh, hello. Okay. He's just like launching fire and stuff at me. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, yep. All right. So I'm on fire now. Oh, that was a good reach. It's 
Barely got him. Was he not a spirit guy? I don't know. For some reason, I thought when I locked onto him first, it said he was a spirit, but maybe not. Is this cart seems to have been defeated, maybe? But I probably had to go over here anyways to count all of the carts being defeated. <clears throat> But I don't know if I can. From death roots life, and from life, death. I should have discerned his malice, since I have bid farewell with kind words. You should depart now. My body has been exploited. I beg you to leave my soul in peace. Go. Take the whip now, and my soul shall scatter. I implore you to stop. Uh, okay, hold up. Because normally in these games, I just keep talking until they say something different, or the, until they stop saying something different. Um, it seems like this guy will die if I keep pulling on the thing, and this is the kind of game where they would just let me kill him. So... Is there anything else that I can do besides just pull the whip? Is that a question anyone knows the answer to? If there is something else I can do, then I will try and figure out how to do that. If there is not, then I will just pull it. Otherwise, I guess I could just look it up. I just don't want to have to come back here, because it don't matter. Alright, well, you say so. I should let go. I cannot rest in peace before my body is freed from darkness. Okay, so I'll write this down. You're saying that I have to beat the other cards first? Um. Uh... So I assume that means that this is one of the five carts, though. So there's only four carts in total. Okay, he's saying the same thing. Now. All right, all right, all right. I'll come back. So there should only be two more carts, then, right? Before my body is freed from darkness. The question is, how do I get... Like, is there going to be a shrine up here or something? Otherwise, I don't know how to get back here very quickly. See some will over there. Oh, come on. Really? Weird, because when I defeated all the cards, I came back here, and that item was not there, but I was still able to complete the quest. Interesting. Because, uh, oh, jeez. I did run into the problem with in the last chapter, where I didn't get to fight that optional boss... 
where you have to pull all four of the talismans off of the little statues. Because I beat the final boss of the chapter first, and it locked me out of doing the last one, which was kind of annoying. Because I didn't know which way to go, right? I'm looking at two paths. I take the one path, it immediately puts me into the final boss fight. And I, I beat the boss fight first try, so... Like, I didn't have another chance to go back and go the other direction. It was kind of lame. I just don't want to, like, get locked out of stuff on accident. Okay, there's a spirit guy over there. And we could go that way. Is there a path this way? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, well, I've made a mistake. I should have killed the stupid flaming worm. Okay. Now we fight. Oh, that actually... It only did damage to his shield, but... It was a lot of damage. I, I don't... Nope! That hurts a lot. What? <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, I need to back up. This guy hits like a truck. No, please don't fall. I don't want to go back all the way. Okay, we got him. All right, no worries. Thanks for the advice uh, with that quest. And good luck finishing up your platinum. All right, another spirit. Wait, what? I have a new weapon? Maybe a new upgrade in my weapons? Uh, increases damage reduction for a short duration after being hit. That seems kind of lame, not going to lie. <laughs> the move doesn't seem particularly great either. Okay, what what's going on here? Oh, I unlocked a new upgrade. Excuse me. So it originally was the one that gave defense. Increased damage ex executed by charged smash heavy attacks. Charge heavy attacks in smash stance that cost over three points inflict a burning lava effect on the ground. Oh, that's what the Samadhi Fire Crystals are for. I see. I don't think I want this weapon, though. Like, it's not ter- Oh, didn't mean to do that. It's not terrible. Oh, that's why it wasn't showing because I didn't have it equipped. I was trying to get it to clear. Like, it's got more attack than I currently have, but I feel like losing all that crit rate is not going to work. Because I get so much attack off of Spellbinder. I don't know, maybe we'll find something that changes our mind. Maybe we'll get more crit rate from something else. A Celestial Ribbon. It also requires me, like, I hear you that it's probably good, but it would require me to use Smash Stance, which I've really only been using Thrust Stance. Because Thrust Stance gives you, like, more stamina recovery or something when you hit enemies. So I've been pretty much only using that. So, I, don't, I mean, I'm sure there's advantages to it. Maybe I'll figure it out. I don't even have enough crystals right now, so it doesn't really matter until I get more crystals. What are you doing? Oh! 
Hey, I didn't fall. Okay. You actually lit me on fire in one attack. That's crazy. Maybe I need some poor Bane's resist, huh? You only use Smash? I mean, I liked Smash at the beginning, and then I decided to switch to Thrust, and I really only use Thrust. It probably makes sense that most people just, like, pick one stance and then only use that one stance. Like, I don't even... It's the staff... Like, what, what's the other, the second stance even called? Like, I don't know why I would ever even want to use that one. It's called Pillar Stance, that one. Like, it just didn't seem very useful to me. There, it Like, at the beginning, it seems like a cool gimmick, because you can maybe dodge attacks by standing on top of the pillar. But then they just knock you off the pillar. You can move, that's true. That's why I liked it at first. And, uh, you, you do get that upgrade, I think, that makes this you can run at the same time while charging it. <laughs> Wanted monkey! Wanted star! <laughs> Wanted dead or alive! <laughs> Halt! Intruders to the Princess Palace face. Death! It's cloudy mist and misty cloud. What the heck? Come on, the boss fight hasn't even loaded yet. Now here comes a Oh, hello. Oh. So does that other guy only come out sometimes? What? Wait, what's happening? Why does it keep canceling my moves? Oh, he's over there. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. Are you... You kidding me? I'm actually dead. Oh my. Yeah, I don't want to be that guy, but like every single move they did was so laggy. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. But hopefully now that we've seen the moves, it won't lag as much. I don't know why that's a thing. I feel like I've never had that in any Souls game. Like, sometimes you'll have frame rate issues in a Souls game. We are so far away, aren't we? Sometimes you have frame rate issues in a Souls game. But it's never like the... It's like the specific move has a frame rate issue because of what the move does. This game, it seems like every move has to load first or something. Must be some weird optimization issue. Okay, so at least uh, I guess I'll have the fire mantle this time. You had some weird stuff. I mean, it's it's pretty much just because my computer's old and I didn't have room on my SSD. Whoa, are you kidding me? You flipped all the way around? That's crazy. Like, I feel like if it was on my SSD, it would probably run almost perfectly smooth, but... There might be some other issues. Okay. Round two. This time, we can use, like... Oh! Okay. Well... Yeah, playing console to comparing console to PC is tough. Are you kidding me? I'm 
Oh, that didn't really work how I wanted it to. Okay. All right, see you. Take care. Aha. What? I dodged that. Uh oh, this is bad. Now here comes a trick. Here I go. This is an interesting fight. They kind of trade off. I can't see a single thing, by the way. Oh, it's this move. Okay. Okay. I can't leave. I'm a set blind. I mean, there was still some lag, but it was definitely easier. Yeah, this guy drops a spirit. I wonder if you kill them in a, a the different order, does it drop a different spirit? Kind of like a uh, Smo and Ornstein. Because I don't know if it showed him as dropping a spirit. Oh, I guess it's got both of their names, though, still. So maybe not. I don't know if it showed that he was going to drop a spirit at the beginning of the fight. The only, the time I noticed it was right after I killed the, the first guy. Moderately reduces the mana cost of Cloud Step. I mean, it gave us... It seems like it's still just a move that does both of them, so. I doubt that killing them in a different order matters. But that would be interesting if you have to, like, max out all the spirits, and then there's one spirit in the game where you gotta kill it in different orders to actually get both on different playthroughs. That would kind of be annoying in a way. But I guess you need to do that in Dark Souls with Smo and Ornstein if you want both of the items and weapons that you can get. Okay. Uh, as we saw, it's quite a long run to get here, so I would be expecting a shrine soon. Yeah, like right there. Anyways, um, is the fox ever going to come back? We're kind of doing this all for her. Like, at least if you're going to make us do uh, a difficult task, like, just hang out with me. That's all I ask. But she went off to go find that other guy. Hello? Celestial medicine, more max mana. That should improve our spellbinder. Because now we have more mana to spend. It only moderately improves it though. Well, I say moderately, I don't even... The last time we tested it, it was giving 1 damage per 10 mana spent, and I think we just got 20 mana, maybe, so... 2 more damage, which is not 0, so there is that. Sounds like there's something up there. 
I'm glad that they just have an item that lets you walk through lava. But if you didn't kill the secret boss in the first area, then you just don't have this, right? Because we got it from the secret boss, if I remember correctly. Pretty sure all of those... All of those items you we've gotten from secret areas. The needle we got from the purple mountains. And then chapter two gave us the wind cloak, I think. All right, guy. Oh. Yeah, there must just be like an impact difference between two charge and three charge, because I swear they still get knocked over when you do a three charge. But a two charge didn't even phase him. Oh, what? You're one hit away. You really got two hits on me? One hit from death? And then I fell off here? Oh my gosh. Okay, we got it. So how do I want to explore this area? Where I just saw a will. Oh, it's right there. I don't know how to get there. I can maybe climb that. This seems like the main path, so let's let's run around down here first. Okay, there's a will right here. I guess I'll just heal up and get my heal back. Then let's see what's down here. It's definitely nice to not take damage while running around in lava, unlike Elden Ring, where I would still run around in the lava, but I would take damage. That was a new guy? What the heck is this? Seems like some weird mechanism. But I don't see any way that we could interact with it. See, is this just a dead end with only that thing? That seems weird, right? Unless I can climb this. Oh, I guess I can't climb this. Didn't think it would let me climb that. It seemed kind of steep, but sure. I hear creepy noises. A monkey. Oh, I don't have Spellbinder on. I should turn it on for exploration purposes, probably. The only bad thing is, as you saw, if we walk into a boss fight, with Spellbinder on, then we don't get to do like our our transformation and stuff, but also against that last boss fight, I definitely noticed that the Makakue Chief was not insane. That first boss that we fought, for some reason it just did a lot of damage to him. Maybe he was weak to ice. But that second guy was not as weak to it. It still seemed pretty good. We didn't get the frostbite off though, so. Oh, jeez. Can I climb this? Oh, the fireball travels so slow, I thought I'd already dodged it. Ooh, there's a big guy there, huh? What? Okay, there's a really big guy over there. Is that the guy we're looking for? I the fox wanted us to find? Seems like it might be. Anyways, we got a... Oh, there's another one right there. Maybe not. 
we got some exploring to do, so... Ooh, that's good damage. Nice. We got him without him even getting to attack. Alright, so let's go back to where we started. I feel like I'm going to miss something in this area. Whoa, I was not expecting an attack like that. Oh, come on. You really knocked me out of my thing? A curio. A white seashell waist chain. What does that do? Slightly increases attack by five. You would have thought that we'd get something like that earlier in the game, huh? I think the 3% crit chance is probably more valuable than five attack. But it's it's not worth nothing. If I had gotten it earlier, I definitely would be using it. Uh, unfortunately, right now I'm using the the rabbit, the whatever else charm. And you have to have both for them to actually be effective. Okay, so now we're back at the start. How do I make sure I go everywhere here? There just seems like a lot of little places, like right under there. How do I get there exactly? Do I have to drop from right here? And like if I didn't see that there was a will here, which I just barely saw. Oh, there was stairs to get here anyways. I think. We've already been down there. Okay, this just takes us right where we were a second ago. Um, I assume we have to fight those big guys, but... Like, there's probably something back there. Probably also want to run down there and explore real quick. I went back there, right? Pretty sure I did. Can't really see from here too well. Oh yeah, this is where I found the will and I got that chest. Okay, okay. Like, where am I trying to go? Could be that way. I just can't see anything, right? It's so dark. Maybe up that lava down the middle there? Let's start by trying to go over here. This seems kind of important. Oh, there's a guy here. Is that Gord guy? I think that's Gord guy. Ooh, and a worm. Do I need, like, Ring of Fire for this? What comfort does this heart implore? A humble drink, its solace I adore. A fine brew deserves a fitting gourd. Here, take this. But you didn't, you didn't give me anything. Oh, I could the take that. The king accepted his destiny, but there are others who refuse to do the same. Family strife confounds even the wisest. Why should we meddle? With the full gourds draft by my side, let cares drift away into the tide. The bull king accepted his family with the full... Okay. Well, I'm only meddling because Ping Ping asked me to. Yeah, I just got an achievement. How odd to encounter this old man at every corner. 
Oh wait, did that level up my current gourd? Yeah. I think it just made my base gourd better. So we now, I think it just gave me one more use, probably. I thought I was only at nine. I could be wrong. But... The Bull King okay, he doesn't the say anything now that I've picked it up. All right. So I guess I don't need to come back here and use something. Also, I probably can't get through this wall or anything, right? Doesn't really look like a wall I could go through. All right, what's going on here? Do I fight you guys? I can't. Are you kidding me? Oh, there, it's locking onto their feet, I see. I assume I was supposed to beat this guy up. I mean, he attacked me right away, so. That's what you get. That guy was shockingly easy. Oh, here's some more will. I guess I'll take it, even though it's a three. A little bit of a waste, but that's okay. So. Let's, let's explore the rest of up here, then. Because now we're... Pretty much all there is to go to still. We could go under here. That's where we came from. Oh, hello, sir. Oh. That's probably the way to go. There's a shrine right there. I should get that first before I do anything else. Okay, let, let's... Uh, if I can get this fire guy to go away, let's test my theory about the triple charge. Yes. Although I don't know if he was blocking because he was in mid-air. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's going to make it a little bit more difficult, not going to lie. Is it safe under here? Oh, yeah, he must have blocked it because his shield was hurt. Okay. Let's go get to the shrine first, shall we? I assume I can, unless this guy counts as, like, a guard to the shrine. I'll kill him, but... I just want... I don't want to have to run all the way back here. Okay, let's go beat him up. You can't really tell what's going on while you're fighting this guy, but... Once they kneel down, it's kind of like game over for them, huh? I guess he's getting back up, but... Wow, I actually got my stamina to zero, but I guess I just got to sit there and wail on the guy, so... A new curio. We were just getting a whole bunch of curios. When at full health, significantly increases attack. I'm not at full health right now, am I? Um, I'll try and remember to do that when we... No, I am at full health. Why was it not showing? 152. Gives me 15 attack. Which is just a little bit more than... Or a little bit less than 10% currently. 
It's interesting because I feel like I spend a lot of time at full health. So it's not terrible. Like, I feel like I spend a lot more time at full health in this game than I do in, like, Elden Ring or Dark Souls. Which is why, like, in, in those games I usually don't use the ring that makes you have more attack when you're at full health. Not to mention that ring's also not very powerful. It just doesn't give you a whole lot of attack. In this case, like, unless it's a percent, I guess we should experiment at the thing. If it's a percent and it's 10%, then it's worse. If it's 15, it's actually better. Because that means it would be good even when we're not using Spellbinder. But I also can't guarantee, especially if I ever get inflicted with like a four bane, one of the four banes, I'm probably not gonna be at full health. So let's real quick rest so we can turn off Spellbinder. How much attack do we even have without Spellbinder? 97. Wow, we are getting 55 attack out of Spellbinder. It's just 15. It might be okay, because I mean that flat one that we found is 5, right? It's funny, it says plus even... Wait, what? That's... That's a bug, right? <laughs> Hold up. This seems like it's bugged. I can't tell if it's lying to me or not. Because for some reason it's not... It's not taking away the attack after I take this thing off. Because it's also not telling me how much it gives me when I put it on. So, did I just gain a free 15 attack? Until I'm not full health anymore? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I, the game seems to have a slight calculating bug. The second, like, one frame passes in the game, I assume it then recalculates to me not having that buff anymore. Okay. Otherwise, that would have been kind of like an annoying cheese. I hate when games have a cheese, but it's annoying to do the cheese. The cheese would have been every time I spawn, just equip that and unequip it. But um, yeah, I'm glad that it isn't the case. Anyways, I think this is a good stopping spot because I don't think we need to go back and explore anything else down there. So we're just moving on this way. So I think we're going to take a break there. Uh, let's take a look at... Oh, we got a lot of like resources and stuff. Is it enough for me to want to go back? We've got four vines and two worms. I don't think I wanted anything with the vines, right? I was waiting for something better to upgrade with the vines. And I think I needed three worms. So I don't think... I have enough ribbons now to maybe do something. Like one upgrade to mythical. But I still haven't found any better gear that I want. So I think there's probably no reason to go back to the hub world right now. Oh, I did want to at some point try the medicines, right? I need to get far enough away. The amplification pellets. Maybe I'll remember next episode to actually try them. I just want to know how much crit rate they give, right? <laughs> like... Because that's the medicine that I could probably very easily just make a whole bunch of and then just use them all the time. But yeah, I wonder, because I'm using this golden sun crow and the moon rabbit. Is that what the other one's called? Jade moon rabbit. They're giving me 3% damage and damage reduction. Which, while I have Spellbinder on, 3% damage is a lot. But it's significantly less when I don't have Spellbinder on. I wonder if this works in my transformation, too. Kind of hard to know. And it does seem like I should have a fourth slot, right? Because if you look at the Curios, how they're all three lined up, there's space for it to be moved to the side and there to be another one there, right? 
So I feel like there should be a way to get a fourth slot. So far, the only way we got the extra slot was by beating Yin Tiger in the village, the, the like hub world village. So I have no idea how we would get another one unless I'm supposed to beat Yin Tiger again. There's just no indication that anything changes because I beat him a second time right away. He wasn't any harder and he didn't give me anything. So I don't know if that fight ever changes. I assume no. Unless, like, I guess if it did change, he would tell me or something. But anyways, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Oh, I, I realized we went into here and then I didn't even take us to where I wanted to go. I wanted to go see what enemies we beat. That's the only reason I even came here. We have all the Lesser Yao Guys, which probably means we're about to enter a new area and get more Lesser available because there's no way we already have all of the Lessers in this region. Oh, I am noticing, though, that I said there would be a boss missing, and he's not missing here, so it could be missing anywhere, right? I don't, I don't know where it's going to place him. For all I know, it could be in between these two. Uh, but anyways, what we beat today was Cloudy Mist and Misty Cloud, as well as the Flint Chief, which the Flint Chief was an optional one. This one was a main one. We still got a few here. As far as kings go, we got four kings. We haven't fought any in this region yet. So we'll be looking for those, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you next time.